continued technical difficulties so laverne likes to lick her salt brick um i'm sure shirley gets this also but anyway so that's what they have for breakfast and again they're still in here which is supposed to be my shed my store shed but we're here because um yeah i haven't gotten back to that other things so fresh water that i put in today i raked the poopies except there that spot now let's go give the chickens um i have to hurry today and my son he says he has a stomach ache so i have to go inside because uh he's not feeling well he came out with me then he was in a rush like no oh, my stomach my stomach so he went back inside so i have to finish this stuff and then get in to check on him always something mommy's work is never done i just got the shower guys i haven't oiled my body that's why i be so ashy when i'm not working in the, in the dirt but i like to yeah and i showered this morning just to loosen up my achy bones so i need to um lotion up black people have to lotion <laughs> our skin is typically very dry i hear you shirley i'm coming i'm coming i'm gonna let you out let me um hobble over here uh, how did y'all like your fermented um grapes this morning nobody's gone into that egg yet hello one may have laid an egg already on the porch now wait till you see uh -uh. wait a minute okay. they could get kind of loud huh treat 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 so get some of the bad room over there. Treat, treat, treat. So they eat well. They're pretty organic. So they have their feed. And then grapes and apples. They love bananas. I give them cauliflower. They get um, broccoli. They like carrots, too. I shave the carrots. You know, they can't eat a big chunk of carrots, so... I shave it and chop it, chop it up really fine, smaller than the apple, really fine carrots. Okay, there's apples inside of it. We gotta give some to trouble. Cause mom then left to go do her egg. Hey trouble. Hey trouble. See that? Your mama's gonna lay her egg. She's fine. So she could eat that. Healthy chickens. Remember, you're eating their eggs. So you want your... <laughs> oh, I missed that. Oh, she jumped up so cute. She jumped up so cute. So um, you want your eggs to be nice and healthy and organic. Feed your chickens. <laughs> organic. There you go, baby. Well, they have a lot and you have a lot. Hey, Cotton Ball, will you eat an apple? Let's see. Let's see if Cotton Ball eat apple. <laughs> we have the finickiest dog. We bought um some more of those chicken livers yesterday and gave to the dog, which normally he loves. He wouldn't eat them frozen because we were out and about. He had to come home, cook them on the pan. He would not eat them. He played with them. <laughs> them. They're still sitting there. So um, he will be hungry. You don't canned chicken, them ground beef. They eat the ground beef. But um, I cannot let this dog think that he's going to get ground beef every day. So if you guys have recommendations on dog food, let me know. I am trying to, and you know I'm getting my gardens, working on my gardens. So, um, oh, why can I, there, so I haven't got to the point where I could, um, grow, um, I haven't been able to harvest, harvest, uh, anything yet, I'm hobbling over, I gotta get the goats out, so, um, I didn't want this to be long this morning, because again, I have to go check on my son, and I have things to do today, so let me go, but, um, I just want to show you, that's, was our routine today 
and again yeah i bought a chopping board to chop up there i forgot to bring it out i just had to replace my knife because my son used it and i never saw it again that's typical and uh that's where i, I cut but i need the chopping board out here because i don't want to track animals up to here like rats or whatever so um i need to get in the habit of using my chopping board and then i'll put my seeds in the bucket for letting me moving because i don't want the goats to jump up here really quick and take my seeds is my bucket in there Where's, oh it's in the greenhouse so i'll get those to the greenhouse so anyway guys hey thanks for tuning in short video today really appreciate you guys all oh, have a blessed day remember just start it all starts with look just one seat take that seat right there see that seat right there that seat take that seat you can soak it for a day in a, in a glass of water I don't even do that uh, though and then gingerly gingerly you have to take your knife gingerly and cut the top and try to split it like a like a um a shell like a pecan shell or not a, a pistachio and you try to cut it like a pistachio and there's a little white seed inside and then you take that and plant that you might as well plant about 20 30 of them and you might get one at least i did it was my first time so i'm lucky to have gotten one i'm blessed should i say to have gotten a one and i'm very grateful for the one so it just starts with just just start just start just start just start and then you'll have an apple tree which I already have two over there. Oh, and by the way, um, not this video, but yesterday I showed your premiere. I went out to the big box store, the orange one, and uh, I went for orange trees. This is what I went for: persimmon, sasuma, um, avocado. They had none, none. All sold out, and they had them the day before. I uh, had some the day before. They did have lemons and limes as usual, and they had. Uh, <coughs> sweet oranges excuse me i haven't taken my allergy pill they had lemon lime sweet oranges and in the back they had an olive tree black olive tree not green and i wanted green and they had a fig tree so i got a fig tree and a black olive tree so now i'm just looking we'll look for the just the best place because i think about the things i'm i'm planning to build and do with the property so i have to make sure i don't put them in those areas and i have more land you know and we're also clearing in here for building so um i have to plan them uh full sun and i've been googling you know how to plant do you know what a, um a black um olive tree or just olive trees do not use manure do not use mulch uh do not use fertilizer you only you, you um sand sand and soil and then rocks you do not they cannot have wet feet they cannot have wet feet she's eating leftover corn from the goats <laughs> cotton ball what are you eating that's my uh lantana another lantana cotton ball and honestly believe it or not in there i planted so many berries and grapes i'm thinking something is coming up but i'm not sure if it's a weed or something i planted there before the manure because the goats had went through here and just messed up all, all my stuff uh those of you who look at the earlier videos you'll see i had um those pvc loops here which i moved to my other garden and i had you know white grapes and red grapes and red berries and black berries and all i mean all kind of stuff here and i don't know if i waited too long to plant them i don't know if i didn't water them enough i don't know if they didn't get enough sun even though this is a full sun area but it has shade from that tree <coughs> <coughs> excuse me anyway i'm not sure so i won't cut it down because i don't know i don't know if it's a, not planted or if it's just something wild that, that grew up through um all this manure that's here but that's why i put the manure here because ground needs covering just like the the body bones need flesh you know it needs covering things grow better with covering and so um i think this i'm trying to get this this area ready i haven't tilled it or anything all i've done i just put all my compost uh, manure on that so that is you know hay and straw and chicken poop and goat poop that's what's there and we throw the um the end of the day water on top of that so it stays moist and the chickens go through there as you see and they scratch uh up in there daily and you see i didn't even threw some eggshells up in there and uh corn shuckings uh in there so that should be a good little compost thing i picked up some pallets 
yesterday finally while i was out there are only two of them um i need to make a compost bin um i didn't want that here but it just seems the logical place uh straight out the goat you know shelter and it's here so i, I want to make something nice if it's going to be right here this in my yard you know i don't want to just make a a junk thing i want to make sure it's a nice structure so i'll do something you know nice um here short very short and they said it has to be a minimum of three by three or four by four meaning you know three feet wide three feet tall because you have to get an internal heat temperature which i forget what that is right now but you have to have that internal heat temperature so i will build that here and i see also that people do like these three section I'll, i have to google compost and this is my first time ever composting and it wasn't intentional it was out of necessity Hey, baby. She like, take care of me, protect me until my mommy comes back for me. I'm going to stay by you because I, I feel safe over here. Okay, Trouble, I got your back. Or like Leah Farmer told me, I got your six. <laughs> that was cute, Leah. Anyway, um, so that's my compost bin. And hopefully I, I am getting this area very fertile. And hopefully my berries and grapes grow if not uh later uh, summer spring i'll plant some other things there but i'm told the berries and stuff takes a while to grow but cross your fingers pray to the garden gods that that is something um let's see I'm trying to get it closer pray that that is something that i planted i pray because that's i did plant a lot of things here i planted sweet potatoes in this area and potatoes and maybe some carrots but I think it was too dry and the ghost just destroyed everything in the wildlife because you see it's not fenced. It's not fenced. Uh, so today I will pick up some fencing because it started raining yesterday and I had to run my son around so I didn't have time to do all of that, the rain. And then there was the first of the Christmas parade we tried to catch. So um, a lot of things um, uh, distracted me so I didn't get it. So anyway, I'll go out today and try to get that. Okay, guys, I got to go. Until then, um, happy homesteading. Have a blessed day. Plant your seeds. And remember, all you have to do is just start. Just start. Just start. Just start. Love you guys. Have a blessed day. Happy homesteading. Don't forget, hit like, comment, share. But most importantly, subscribe.